Right, okay, fan reaction time then. Sheffield Wednesday nil, Burnley 2. Get in there, Clarice. And Burnley Football Club are top of the league tonight. Okay, if Sunderland win tomorrow, then we won't be top of the league. But you've got to take them, right? People are telling me that we've still not played that well yet throughout the season and we're top of the league. We keep getting told it's a false position, but we're top of the league, that's all that matters. And what's that, four clean sheets in a row now? I mean, we'll get onto it because the clean sheet today was probably a little bit more fortuitous than it has been in, in certain games this season. Um, but I thought first off, we were great, probably controlled the game and were just the better side, but they had the better chances. Um, but, you know, if it weren't for their mistake, we, we wouldn't have scored that. And it, and it kind of sort of like gave us a bit of a helping hand, that mistake, didn't it? But, you know, um, Anthony's still got to finish it and, you know, he does it He does it well. The keeper's coming out, he doesn't panic, he just lofts it over the keeper nice and easy, puts it in the bottom corner. Um, and obviously just cash your mind back to Oxford. We had the chance later on with Hontondri and Jay just kind of keep getting in each other's way. Um, so it's good to see that when we actually were gifted a chance today, we, we, we finished it. Um, second half, I thought they came out the blocks and and tried to shock us. I think I think that's why they started the first sorry the second half so quickly because they really wanted to get at us and, and catch us off guard and they nearly did to be fair because they had a couple of chances really early on and probably should have done better. Uh, I've not seen them back and obviously I was there so it was at the opposite end, um, but it looked at the time that they probably should have done better. I, I thought they were poor. If I'm being honest with you, I've spoken to a Sheffield Wednesday fan who actually thinks they were the better side in the second half. And, and you can debate that, that's not what I'm debating, but I just feel like in possession and when they had them chances, they were poor. They, they, they weren't a good side. So I'm surprised at that because I thought, you know, and I know they've had a bit of a sticky sticky patch in the middle, but they have come out of it recently and beaten West Brom out there today. And West Brom's a team people keep telling me that we need to be worried about, but we've just gone there and, and won somewhere that they couldn't. So... I'll take that all day long. Look, uh, do I think it was the best performance over the course of 90 minutes? No. Um, but after the first five minutes in that second half, I genuinely think we were brilliant. The, it helped us a bit that we'd obviously already got the goals because then Sheffield Wednesday have got to come out and try and come at us and then it helps us a little bit because they're on, trying to be on the front foot and we, and we can then find space in behind. But it, it really did open up for us a little bit then and I think it really, really did help us. And we created more. We created a lot more today than what we normally do. Obviously, it, it, it should have been 4-0 based on them chances that we had. All right, I'm not taking into account their chances, to be fair, so you could probably say 4-1, four, 4-2. Four, um, but obviously, we've got the two goals. Lorenz missed that header and there's the free kick, which then hits the post from the rebound from the header as well. So, it, it could have been a lot more comfortable than what it was. It probably would have been a bit harsh on Sheffield Wednesday, if I'm being honest with you. But it's, it's, it's positive sides. It, it, it was much better than Preston, much better than Plymouth and a lot better than Oxford because them last three before today were really, really poor. What was it? 0-0, 1-0 off a penalty, 0-0. We haven't been great in front of goal and that's because we haven't been creating enough chances. We just, we've just not been creating enough. But today, we did create a lot more um, and I think... That, that's a good sign. It's positive signs. And look, even in, even in that first half when we weren't great, we still had a shot on target early on. It was a bit of a, a snatched effort from the edge of the area from Fleming. But in these games that I've just mentioned, the first shot on target, first shot on target, sorry, of the game is, is sometimes coming in like the 87th minute or just from a penalty, you know. So positive signs. And Coley Osho got in behind a couple of times in the first half as well. His decision making wasn't the best when he did get in behind, admittedly. But positive signs, trying to make things happen. And it, and it was better. That's all I want us to be, better than what we were last time out. Because last time out against Preston, it was awful. It was awful. We've gone over it a million times and all they sat back and didn't even try and play football. But it was awful from us. We didn't create enough. Today we did. Um, but there's still a few people sort of like saying it weren't good enough and that. But I, mean, I tend to agree. But on the balance of the whole 90 minutes. That second half. If we play like we did in that second half for the rest of the season, we'll be fine. We will be fine. My only issue with the second half is we did concede a few more chances than what I would like us to do, but then that's us obviously then going at teams and, and being a little bit more open because we're t attacking teams. So if you want us to not concede chances, then we're not going to be as good going forward. But if you want us to create chances, we might leave a few gaps at the back. So 
It's another clean sheet, though, at the end of the day. So you'll take it all day long, won't you? But yeah, three points, top of the league. I thought Fleming played quite well, to be fair. Um, he didn't feed enough scraps, but he put himself about a bit, and I thought the ball stuck a little bit more upfield. Um, you know... I don't want to slag anyone else off, but I do feel like sometimes when, when, when Lyle's playing, it, it goes upfield and it just comes straight back. Whereas this time it was sticking a bit and he was putting himself about a bit, making himself a bit of a nuisance. And let's not forget, he's not a striker. I still do feel like the best thing for us up front is Lyle Foster in the nine and Fleming in the ten. We need to see that partnership over a prolonged period of games. I, I think that is the best thing for us. Um, Loren was absolutely fantastic today. I'm not sure where he fits in the side when, when Fleming and Foster are both in it, but it, it was my man of the match. And I've been crying out for him on, on, on some of these fan reactions over the last few weeks, sometimes to criticism in the comments or on Twitter as well. But I feel like I've been justified today because he was fantastic. He was the, the midfielder that wants us to get us up the pitch. And look, I like Hannibal and I thought it was fantastic against Preston. I think I even came on this and said, how do you drop him now? He was brilliant. Um, and I do think he was harshly dropped, but I kind of understand it as well because we did need to change that midfield about a bit. It was still a little bit too slow, to be honest with you, in possession, but Loren obviously wanted to get us up the pitch. Loren obviously wanted to get us up the pitch, so he was driving forward, and I feel like we've missed that. I do feel like we've missed that. Um, but obviously when it's Fleming in the 10 and then um, Lyle in the 9, Maybe it'll be a different midfield behind him, probably a Cullens. Um, we've actually quite stacked there, aren't we? Because I don't really feel like you can drop Cullen. Um, so then it's, it's, it's Brownell's, you know, scored again today. You know, he, he played all right today, to be fair. I thought he was poor against Preston, but I thought he played well today. But he was a little bit more advanced, and that's where he's better, um, in my opinion. But yeah, we are quite stacked in midfield. Like I said, I thought Fleming did well. I felt like the ball stuck a little bit more up front. And I do want to mention... James Trafford, and now I know he's had the, 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 the I mean, I've not seen it back, I'm not sure if it's even Trafford's fault to be fair, but I know he's had the bit where he comes through at the end, uh, he gets in a defender's way I think, or defender maybe gets in his way, I'm not sure, uh, but there was a mix-up at the back anyway, and I, even if, I haven't, again I haven't seen it back, so it, this may be ridiculously wrong, but even if the goalkeeper's coming out, he's got to make sure that pass clear, but other than that, I thought it was brilliant, like, He's coming for crosses, he's collecting them the majority of times or punching them, he's barking orders. There wasn't a save where you look at it and think, wow, he had no right to make that save, but he made saves and he made them comfortably. This is his level, I've said it before, and he was absolutely brilliant today, was Trafford. Um, so it's good to see him growing in confidence and it's good to see him getting better, but I do feel like this is his level for now. And he will go on to be a Premier League goalkeeper and even an international goalkeeper. But yeah, buzzing with the three points. Claret's top of the league and you'll take that all day. And I still think we can get better. Like That second half was better and I do want us to play like that more. And if we do play like that, like I've already said, I think we'll be okay. But I still think there's room for improvement. So you'll take that all day long. Get in there.